Hey guys, this is Drew with the Kucha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. We're at the Broken Arrow Coin Show. Uh, it's late, but we're going to be talking about what we bought and how the coin show turnout was. This is the $15,000 coin haul. So when you think of a coin show, you think of it as you know, a place where people can gather together, a place where dealers and, and collectors can just buy and sell. And I think Broken Arrow has done that a lot for us. Um, we ended up selling a few coins to Atmex, selling a few coins to some local dealers and some people that are far away. Um, I think the local attendance so far is around 650 people, which is actually pretty nice. And the cool thing about the show also is that you see how big these lanes are, Casey, when you zoom out. I mean, people are able to walk through the aisles and just be able to get a breath of fresh air once in a while. Um, a few complaints we've heard about different shows is that most of the time people are so crammed together and dealers are, are unable to move within their kind of stall as well. And so I think the Broken Arrow show is really a great balance between having great dealers to buy from you, but also having um, some general public in as well. Um, I think Chris and Todd are doing a great thing. We're going to be here at every single show, and I think buying a table at every coin show that we feel passionate about is something that we want to do. Um, sometimes we make a profit, sometimes we don't, but that's just a part of the hobby. I think it's great to invest your time, energy, um, and talent where you can by making videos like this. Um, but that's a little synopsis of the show. Let's show you guys what we picked up. So here's a little synopsis of everything that we purchased at the show. We plan on doing a little breakdown of each coin that we thought was interesting to show you. What do we pay for it? And also give you a few stories from the show as well. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay guys, so I wanted to start off by showing you a really cool thing that we had on consignment that we ended up selling in a few hours for a client. This is a $500 bill here. Um, not the greatest, there's a fold across the front, a few stains on both sides, but it's just, you know, I've never got to handle one before and they're so hot right now still, so being able to flip this for a client and giving it to a great customer is something that we pride ourselves on and I thought it was pretty neat. Um, something that we talked about in the last video, uh, this is a 1925S that we uh, ended up getting back. Um, it's MS67 holder now, so MS67 Plus. It's got good color and I did love the coin to begin with and so getting it back and offering to somebody else would be something that I would think is good. Make money on both sides of the coin if that makes sense. And yeah, pretty neat one for sure. Um, we ended up buying a few kind of common things here. Got two walkers, really nice blast white walkers. You know, just run of the mill, things that I think have nice eye appeal and would be great for a walker set if someone would be interested. And I, I don't know, I think that buying coins like this still make me very happy and, and passionate. Um, I don't think spending $1,000 on every coin is something that I wanna do right now. I wanna actually be able to spend money on cheaper coins as well because there's people that are at every stage of the hobby and you have to be adherent to that. Uh, me and Casey really did have a great time at this show and we also visited a shop in Arkansas. We ended up buying a bunch of kind of mercury dimes, all mismatched grades here, uh, nothing too crazy but like I said, people that want to develop sets, you know, some more just like this, you don't have to pan it, uh, zoom in at all Casey, but some neat, some neat kind of mercury dimes just run of the mill stuff buy them flip them for a couple bucks but it keeps people interested keeps people maintained in the hobby and that's something that we like to do we bought some lower end or some not as high value walkers but we ended up buying some walkers that were pretty expensive too um, we ended up buying a 34 and a 38 walker um, they're, they're both really great coins i do like them both um, the cool thing about the 38 though is it has some toning on it it's really hard to pick up I'll be throwing the true view next to this coin as I talk about it, but bought this from a great friend of ours who runs the Tyler show. His name's David Holcomb. Just a, it's a really cool coin. I think it's pretty neat. I don't see Tony on a better date like this that often. Also bought this 37, I'm, I'm sorry, 34 and 67. Just, uh, it'd be cool to step up our game a little bit with these, and so we have been. I also was able to buy uh, a little bit of a better date uh, piece dollar. The reason why I bought this one is because, um, you know, it's an AU58, it's, a, it's an easier coin to buy for someone that's wanting to develop a set. You know, sometimes when you get in 63 and 64 range, you're spending 
600 to a thousand dollars on the coin and so I don't like to do that and I like to buy ones that everyone can pick up and so this one really met that standard bought our first ever 68 mercury dime this weekend um, this is a 1942 Denver um, it's got toning on both sides I think it's it's just really per almost perfect and I do like the coin a lot I was able to place this with a customer of ours that really enjoys mercury dimes his name is Richard hi Richard if you're watching this video uh, we're very thankful for you and the business that you give us um, if you guys are interested in any coins to talk about today we'll make sure to have them on the website for you so you can take a look and maybe add something to your collection uh, bought a few cat coins at the show also one of my favorite pickups of the whole show that has a CAC sticker is this 1906 barber half it's great MS 64 plus by PCGS and is CAC approved I mean uh, this coin is really really beautiful I don't see many barbers like this that often and so when I get a chance to buy it and uh, it's just something you can't pass up and me and Casey are doing our best to find great coins for you guys so make sure to leave a like if you guys are enjoying this video so far bought something else that was pretty interesting today it's a 1905 repunch date um, it's an Indian head scent also is CAC approved so that's pretty cool we got all the bells and whistles I don't think I think there's only three that have a repunch date known at PCGS and so kind of a tougher coin to find and it's something that maybe we can get into offering for other people um, definitely something that's odd but I want to look into it later maybe talk with you guys about it uh, another cat coin that we ended up uh, putting on consignment and ended up working with and selling is this 1937D uh, Oregon Trail it's got toning on both sides but overall the coins very original it's CAC approved um, and thank you David for picking up this coin I think it's just a really exceptional piece and it's not too expensive I mean a lot of 67 68 uh, commemoratives are getting up there in price and this one's kind of maintaining uh, a little bit over 500 600 bucks so that's not too bad um, and you can't beat it when it has a little bit of color uh, you know I like my rattlers so I ended up buying a few this weekend um, here's a kind of a Roosevelt uh, this is a proof Roosevelt dime I ended up buying this at a coin shop and flipping it pretty quickly I guess people are starting to on Instagram at least trying to pick up rattlers and buy them especially with Roosevelt dimes so keep an eye out for them you guys might run into them and get a premium for them um, so we ended up buying a few more things here this is a 1933s walking liberty half it's a better date of course it's ori more original than most others in this grade it's cac approved uh, i couldn't find any other comps really um, that were close to this and i couldn't find ones that have sold recently so finding this coin and buying it i thought was cool it offered kind of a, a different kind of dimension most of the time when you're buying a, a cat coin it's has to be 64 or 65 but 33 s's and 64 and 65 are way too much money so i thought an xf 45 would be a great offering for us uh, i ended up buying a few kind of proof like or dm uh, deep mirror proof likes this weekend here is an 1885 cc gsa uh, morgan dollar grade 64 proof like by pcgs I thought this one was nice also. Uh, I just try to buy whatever nice coins we can and then Casey sits in at the table and sells his heart out to Admex or, or whoever that wants to come by and say hi to us. I think this one you know, definitely meets a lot of collectors needs. Um, a really good date for the series and also came from the GSA Horde so that is another plus. Uh, another favorite coin of the pick uh, of the whole entire show. This is an 1883 CC Morgan Dollar. It's graded uh, MS 63 dimple and just check out the mirrors on this coin if I hold it still I mean you almost can see the reflection of Casey's uh, forehead I mean it's just a really nice coin uh, I ended up paying a premium for this coin but I feel like sometimes you see so many dimples and holders that don't really look black and white to me and so when I see one like this I have to spend a little bit more to get it but I do think at the end of the day the collector will be very happy to buy this coin and if they don't buy it I don't mind looking at it for a while and just smiling at it all the way through. Um, but yeah, I bought a few other things here, just kind of odds and ends. <laughs> bought a few of these these metals. I think they're PCGS metals that they were they were selling for a while or offering with grading. Nothing too crazy here, really. 
And so I thought I'd pick a few of those up because they were cheap. I also bought a 1909S Indian head scent, paid gray sheet for it. And so not asking a little, uh, asking a little bit over gray sheet, but it has some cool wood grain toning to it. Can't really pick it up in this room, which sucks, but definitely a neat piece and can't go wrong with a better date, especially mid grade. But yeah, I think that's everything that we have to show you guys for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video. Let's cut to the outro.